The Wargo Nature Center has rolled out a new program this year to engage seniors who are interested in learning more about nature. Taka Zen has the story. It is to um, reach out to the seniors in our community and get them involved here at our Nature Center. Wargo Nature Center has found a new way to reach out to seniors this year. It's called Lunch with a Naturalist. So Lunch with a Naturalist is an hour and a half long program that is uh, kind of bring your own bagged lunch and watch a talk about a nature or natural history subject. And then there is usually an optional walk afterwards. And it's always something new or different. They're taught by different instructors, so you never quite know what to expect. Last month we did Voyagers, which was very interactive, and I walked in and they had the whole group up singing Voyager songs and pretending to paddle a canoe, so um, that was really fun. We did wild racing um, earlier in this fall and had a good turnout for that as well. So yeah, we've had a lot of great topics. The topic of discussion today, bird language. The way that birds communicate with each other within their species, but also between species about things like predators moving on the landscape, other threats, um, food sources, things like that. And for those who are unaware, bird language isn't all just chirps and squeaks. Amy explained to the group of about 20 seniors that it's about body language and the awareness of surroundings as well. Often when people see a bird just sitting up in a tree, they think that means that it must just be resting. But actually, if a bird is sitting up in a tree and intently looking in one direction, um, it might not look like alarm to a human, but that is an alarm posture and they're looking at something that might be a threat. So sometimes if you see a bird totally frozen and you follow its gaze, you can find that there's an owl or a cat or some kind of predator in that area. Most attendees walk away with some interesting facts about nature, and Amy finally gets a chance to speak her language. It's fun for me to get to go a little more in depth on topics because generally, most of the time I'm working with children, and we mostly work with the under, like third grade and under crowd. Um, so it's really fun to kind of get to put my ecology background into use and get a little bit more into some um, more sciencey topics or get deeper into some ecological topics. For North Metro TV, Takas and Reporting. Lunch with a Naturalist at the Wargo Nature Center caters to seniors who are 50 plus. There is no fee or pre-registration to attend. Just show up and bring your lunch. To learn more, visit NorthMetroTV.com and click on News.